me give you a rundown what happened on uh, the Chessable Masters semifinal day two. So here we go, Ding versus Magnus. Well, as usual, it was a positional battle for quite a while, but Ding came out swinging. He actually had the upper hand, a pass pawn way down on the last rank, etc., etc. But you know Carlson, he's like a crayfish against a frog. He just keeps picking away, picking away. Well, he found a way to do it again. He just kept picking around those edges. And in the end, he made this RC1, rook to C1 move, and game over. So here's the position. And here's that move I'm talking about. Game over. Uh, game one here the uh, between Anish and Nepo. What can I say? It's Anish. Draw. On to the next game. On to the next game. Game two. Game two. Well, nothing really to report. Magnus and Ding. Bam, bam, bam. Draw. Nepo and Anish. Well, you know what I keep saying about Nepo? He's nifty. Well, it came down to an end game, and guess what? Nepo traps Anish's knight, and a few moves later, it's over. So I'll show you that position as well. The Nepo creative nifty position. All right, game three. Well, before I get into that, I want to make a comment about the announcers today on Chess24.com. Peter Svidler, Simon Williams, the Grandmaster from England, and then there, of course, was uh, Anna Rudolph. I got to say, where yesterday I wasn't a big Shanklin fan, today I'm an absolute Simon Williams fan. He, he's, con he's, got me, he's convinced me. He and Spiddler are such a great team. And then Anna jumps in with that social media. And I wish she'd chime in more on the positions, but it's mostly Spiddler and, and the other announcer, in this case, Williams. But Williams makes, a, makes the broadcast, uh, bring, puts an ease to the broadcast. And he kind of sits up at the high level, the conceptual level, to Spiddler's kind of in-the-mud, super grandmaster, calculating mind, every grinding-out move. And they blend the weather so well, and they talk together so well. In fact, um, Williams was asking Spiddler, was there a rival that you had going through your growing up in your chess career? And he mentioned a, another person, uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, through juniors, they were intense rivals on the chessboard. But then Spiddler went the chess route where he is today. And the other, his rival, uh, after the juniors, went to college and became a math genius. I love stories like that. They got talking about the uh, Boot Ratty, Boot, I think it's Brute Ratty tournament, chess tournament in Ireland, where they both have played. And Anna Rudolph, I believe, has played. They're talking about pints and accents and it just brings a smooth ease Simon Williams that's what he does to the broadcast and I hope he comes back and does more because he and Spiddler Rudolph are an amazing team amazing team all right on to game three uh let's see here let's go Ding and Magnus um the thing I'm going to say about Magnus today he's so cons he's so consistent and so convincing in the way he plays so again, it was a kind of an even position for quite a while, but Magnus, you know, ground around those edges, and guess what? He finds a way to win it and puts Ding away. Not only is that the set two and two games to, and a draw to Magnus, but that's the match. So Magnus is in the finals type of thing. And he did it against Ding, the number three player in the world, and Magnus won twice with Black today. Amazing. The dude is on fire. Uh, let's see. Nepo and Anish. It's Anish playing. Huh. Did Nepo win? Did Anish win? Oh, no, it was a draw. What else could it be but a draw? So we go to game four. Let's go to game four. Uh, let's see. Oop, oop, oop. I got to uh, do my shift my uh, thing here. Well, let's see. So, uh... Yeah, so all Nepo needed was a draw, but uh, it was even for a while. And then Nepo put this big pressure on Anish, who once again found out how to get a draw out of it, and they agreed to a draw. Well, because of the draw, that means Nepo wins today's set, and since Anish won yesterday's set, they're one all. We go to tomorrow. Now, a side note, uh, Spiddler and uh, Simon Williams are talking to Magnus Carlson, who came on as a guest for this game. 
and they were asking him about Anish's playing mentality. And Magnus said, well, as a player, when you're in this position, you know you got tomorrow. You don't need to go all out. Why wear yourself out tonight, tonight, uh, today? Uh, if it's a draw, that's fine. You don't win the match. You got tomorrow. And I only would two thoughts, two cents. I'm certainly not at that level. But if you can take the guy out today, why not take him out? So let's say Anders goes all out. We know how chess works. Yeah, the, all the experts, the world champions, the fiddlers says, oh, man, this is a draw, whatever. Uh, Anders is losing. But we all know one little thing, and it can change. And before you know it, Anders has it turned around, and he's won. And guess what? He doesn't have to play tomorrow. Or, 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 or if he's sorry, yeah, if he wins this game, then, then they go to, because it'd be a tie for the set, they go to two blitz games and maybe an Armageddon. So what if you have to play a little extra? I think it's worth going for it today and not playing the next day if you can take the guy out today. My two cents worth, sports play over and out.